Welcome to the High Income Business Writing Podcast, helping you propel your writing business to a whole new level. And now, here's your host, Ed Gandia. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the High Income Business Writing Podcast, the number one podcast for business writers and copywriters who want to earn more and less time doing work they love for better clients. With over 1 million downloads from listeners just like you across 101 countries. This episode is much shorter than usual. Rather than my typical 45 minute format, today I'm sharing a quick tip with you. This is part of the audio insights I publish for my private coaching clients every weekday, and I thought you'd find it helpful. So here we go. I hope you enjoy it. There's been a debate for years about whether or not writers and marketing professionals should post their fees on their website. My thinking on this has shifted over the years, and here's where I've landed. And I landed here maybe two, three years ago. If you're new or still building your business, meaning you're still not where you'd like to be in terms of revenue, and you have plenty of room for more clients, it's typically best not to post your fees. Why? Because everything else being equal, you want the opportunity to have a conversation with prospects. And when you post your fees, You'll certainly repel prospects who will never be able to afford you, which is a good thing. But you'll also repel some prospects who could afford you, but they walked away too early before giving you a chance to better understand what they needed. Once you're established and are typically book solid or close to that throughout the year, it often makes sense to post your fees or at least fee ranges or even minimums for some of your key services. And there's one type of service that lends itself especially well to doing this, and that's productized services. You might recall that a productized service is something that has a fixed scope and a fixed fee. It's not fully custom. Yes, of course, the content and the particulars might be custom, but the client can't customize the key components of the project. So for instance, you might have a standard case study service that includes certain things that are very predictable. And because you've done these pieces a hundred times, you can comfortably quote a fixed fee for a very fixed and specific scope of work. Of course, the content is going to be unique for each client. What's fixed is the ability for the client to maybe change some things. Hey, can we add another page to that? Rework the components. Can we add these things, change it, add a sad sidebar, add a press release, all those things that now you're getting into custom work. Okay. So that's then it's not productized. Same with a key message platform, for example, or a white paper package, or an ebook, an original research project with very specific parameters. So again, anything where you can fix the scope. That way you can comfortably quote a fixed fee, even if you have different tiers. You can even have fixed fee for all these different tiers. So bottom line is if you have one, two, three, or more services that lend themselves to being productized, this might be a great opportunity to put them out there because once you do, you'll be able to help prospects pre-screen themselves much more easily. When that happens, everybody wins. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And just a quick reminder to grab your free copy of my latest book, Earn More in Less Time, The Proven Mindset, Strategies, and Actions to Prosper as a Freelance Writer. You can get your free copy at b2blauncher.com, where you will also find the detailed show notes to this and all my other episodes. Enjoy and have a great day.